Let's get in. With the recall efforts moving forward in California, many may be wondering what it takes to get a spot on the ballot. UC Davis political science lecturer Dr. Isaac Hale joins us live from UC Berkeley this morning uh, to talk about the recall effort. Dr. Hale, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So let's talk, uh, obviously, Caitlyn Jenner throwing her hat into the ring here. Explain how this is going to affect everything. Uh, it, until now, we haven't had any huge names jump in the race. Yeah, I mean, we have several Republican candidates who have announced already. Uh, we have Kevin Falconer, the former San Diego mayor. We have John Cox, the 2018 runner-up, both of whom have expressed a lot of interest in the race. But nationally speaking, Caitlyn Jenner is by far the biggest name. Do you think it's going to have that big of an impact, her name and uh, her following on the race uh, as far as, um, like, I re remember back when Schwarzenegger was running against uh, Gray Davis, his name was huge and there was a huge following and it really helped him. Yeah. Do you think it'll have this kind of effect with Caitlyn Jenner? I think she will absolutely attract a lot of attention, probably a lot of donations in, in media and the race. Um, whether or not she'll be able to gain traction in the way that Arnold Schwarzenegger was remains to be seen. California is a significantly less Republican state, for one. And for another, not all celebrity candidates are successful, right? We think of successful right. ones like Schwarzenegger or Donald Trump, but there are also candidates like Gary Coleman or Larry Flint, who right, ran in 2003, who were not successful. Went down and burned in flames. Let's also talk about the effort to get on the ballot. If you're one of these people who wants to do it, it doesn't take a lot. No. Uh, if passed as prologue, it should take either about $4,200 or 7,000 signatures, which is a really, really low bar. That's interesting. Uh, how is uh, the Newsom camp responding to all of this, especially with the news of Caitlyn Jenner? It seems like they are sticking to one message and one message alone. Yes, the, the one message is that this is a Republican recall, and if you support it, you are helping the Republican Party. Um, and that's a probably a smart tactic from the Newsom campaign, given that uh, the Republican Party is not super popular in California. Right, and uh, also that means you don't have to pivot as much with every new candidate. You just keep drilling the same thing every time. Exactly. Dr. Hale, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Your insight is always welcome and appreciated. It's uh, interesting to learn how this recall effort is going to take place. Dr. Thank Hale, you thank you. Much. All right, 7.45 right now. Let's take a look at traffic because uh, 